In Minnesota, the beauty of it is the naturalness of the landscape and how people are so excited for winter. It's almost like there are two seasons, summer and winter, really, because fall is very short and spring is very short and sometimes non-existent. You have to be a snow lover, cold loving person to make it there. And we lived there for 32 years. It was just a very family oriented kind of place to live. When Rick came home and told me in April that he had an opportunity to come to Phoenix and run the office here and grow it, my first thought was no. No, no, a thousand times no. Because all I had heard about is how hot it was, all they have is dirt, all they have is cactus, and I thought, I can't do it. And then he said, well, that's a problem because I have to be there June 1st and I've already accepted the job. But then once we got here, I realized what a fantastic place it really is for so many reasons. It's very easy to live here. Everyone is from somewhere else, but we all get along. And I love that about Phoenix. Rick has a friend that uh, lived in Finisterre and told us, oh, you got to you know, you've got to try to get in there. And it's not that easy to get in here for many reasons. When I walked through the front door the first time, I was struck with, I don't know if grandness is the word, but the ceilings are higher, the rooms are larger. I'm a big kitchen person, so the kitchen is lovely and very functional. But the patio, the outdoor living space, I think in this particular home is very attractive. And we have had some wonderful gatherings here, one of which was a, a large dinner before one of our daughters was married. And we had probably 80 people here and it felt like 10. The home is five bedrooms, five and a half baths, and just under 9,000 square feet. This home is large in terms of square footage, but the way it is arranged, it's very warm and inviting. It's not completely open and cold, and we love it. It's very easy to live in this home. The bar area is very welcoming. It's very easy. I think my favorite room in this home is the dining room. I love the way it's decorated. If you were to ask Rick his favorite room, it would definitely be the media room. It's dark, it's cool, it's cozy. When we retire at the end of the day to the master suite, it's like our own little world back there, but it's completely comfortable because Rick has his space and I have mine. And that's what I think is expected in a home this large. If you like to entertain, this is the perfect home for that. The way the kitchen is uh, placed in the home relative to the patio and there is an outside bar and a lovely grill and a pass-through window from the inside bar to the outside bar and a large patio covered. And there's, there's just room for everyone. We do have visitors come, especially in the winter, and they love the casita because it's a complete little home back there. It has a full kitchen, it has full laundry, full bath, and they can come and go as they please. Rick and I have had amazing memories in this home. It's been a wonderful home. And we know that whomever is lucky enough to purchase this beautiful home will have many, many memories.